Biden's energy secretary getting the cops called on her while trying to promote his green agenda. Jennifer Granholm roasting about a four-day multi-state road trip before things took a really bad turn. <laughs> We're starting our road, summer road trip. There will be taking electric vehicles on this road trip. And I'm very excited to point out all of the investments that are happening. Mm. The caravan of electric vehicles quickly ran into problems with broken chargers and occupied stations. And after one staffer came up with the idea to block the only working charging point port with a gas car for their entourage. NPR reports, quote, a family that was boxed out on a sweltering day with a baby in the vehicle was so upset they got boxed out that they decided to get the authorities involved. They called the police. Now, Dana, mm -hmm. isn't the energy secretary the woman who had some ethical problems because she had all this stock in Proterra and electric vehicles? Yeah. Do you have to kind of question her ethics and why she's so hot well, on this? Well, she's, got she's gotten away with it, right? And the president is all in. And also, because there's so many subsidies, you have the car companies saying, OK, we're, we're, gonna, we're going to do it. But what this whole episode shows is that the electric vehicle myth is that there is not the appetite or the infrastructure to have these mandates for electric vehicles yet. There was another story this weekend about the rental car market and how what, it's just such a disaster for people because they're really pushing the electric vehicles on you, and it's causing huge problems because people just want to get... You, if you get a rental car, you want to get it and go. You don't want to have to relearn how to yeah, drive. Yeah, yeah. You don't figure out how to charge it. But the, for the fact that the advanced people blocked the, <laughs> blocked the family... So that she could get there to charge her electric vehicle is something that Selena Meyer never would have imagined. Okay, and so Jesse, doesn't that tell you the staff is even worse than she is? <laughs> it does. <laughs> I mean, come on. You have NPR who's embedded. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you're trying to impress NPR. Yep. So what if you have to wait a little longer for some family to charge up? So what? <laughs> and it shows you she doesn't want to be inconvenienced because, Judge, even at the best charging station, it takes one to two hours to recharge. One to two hours versus five minutes. Yep. It doesn't make any sense. Trump's got the great line. I forget where he said it. It was like, when someone buys an electric car, the first 15 minutes are fantastic, and then the rest of the time you're just <laughs> nervous about where you're going to charge. And also, it's not making GM any money. Excuse me, Ford. Ford loses $60,000 per electric car, Jeez. per. They only sold 12,000 in the first quarter and all of their factories went to Mexico. It's okay. a boondoggle. Now, Harold, they just, uh, Biden just banned drilling in Alaska and Anwar. Why are they doubling down on this disaster? The same advanced team that Secretary Granholm <laughs> has and the same spokesperson that talked about Pearl Harbor should yeah. both be, uh, they should be let go. And in all seriousness, I think that um, I was an advanced guy for, and I was I was bad, but I was not this bad. I, 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 there were some things I didn't do for my, my then chairwoman of our party, Alexis Herman. Uh, but Granholm is smart. She's competent. I wouldn't question her integrity or anything like that, but you need a new advanced team. And you need to go back to the drawing board. Let this be a learning moment. Let's not try to, try, this is just indefensible. Let's not try to gloss over it. Go back and say, what's wrong? Why did this happen? Why do we not have these charging stations? Or do these things take too long? Challenge the car companies. Uh, to develop vehicles and manufacture vehicles that don't take as long. Ask them what they need on that front. Those are the kinds of things I'd be trying to do that I would try to learn from this and share with the nation and not try to defend the indefensible. Greg, why are they so embarrassingly out of touch? I think, you know, what, what's happening is people don't want to admit that there's this weird disorder going around called charger anxiety. Yeah. And it's like the electric car is replicating it in a bigger way. So, like, you have your phone, you have your, like, so I have an, I have an Apple Watch, and, and, you know, I have to, like, always think about whether that's charged. I have to think about whether my phone's charged, whether my laptop's charged. Now I have to think about my car. And it's like, it's, it, it's like Jesse's right about it. And what Trump said, it's like, it's fun until you're anxious about it. It, it. it puts you back to when you were 16 and you had your first car and you only put two gallons of gas in. And you just be going like, ah, and you go, maybe I can make it past to the next exit. You just be doing that. But there's a, this is an old rule of mine. Don't sail a boat while it's under construction. And that's what they 
they did. Yep. They filmed it. No doubt and electric cars will be part of these choices, but you need the infrastructure first. This is why I've held off on my EV Bentley. I'm not, <laughs> I, I, I was thinking about it, and then I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna stick with the gas uh, Bentley right. and my Mini Coopers. Right. <laughs> what does Gus prefer? <laughs> he loves a good Mini Cooper. Oh, I'll bet he does. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.